get into it. Let's see where we're at. Okay, prediction-wise, we've got 76% of you going in favour of plebs here. 24% uh, for uh, pawn guard. That's a total of 40k versus 12, almost 13k. In the defence-wise, you've got plenty of malls here. A couple of pole axes. There's some uh, units to deal some damage, like muskets, short bows. You've got pikes in there as well, SM3 and SKW at the very bottom there. Unit-wise, you've got Iron Reapers, uh, Senji Grenadiers. They've got Palace Guards, Grey Hairs, IBDs, Javelins, um, Fort Abrasio, and on the attack they've got Psychelian Militia, Cataphracts, Grey Hairs, you've got Palace Guards, IPGs, even a unit of, is that Claymores? Oh, and Amia is bringing a blue set of Halberdiers, or Lanchnecks, I assume, Lanchnecks. No, no Sally out by the looks of it, no Cavalry for the, the NA side, which is... Kind of what you've expected from the NA sides to do a lot of the time. Get, 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 Yo, Nosley, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat for the first time. How are you doing? Here we go for one of the biggest matches we could probably watch in this CB Rivals tournament currently as things stand. The winner and second place of last season fighting it off here in the second round of CB Rivals group stage. in the feudal division here we are here we are underway everybody from the na side will use their units and retreat them to home point as the heroes all stay on top of the wall trying to deal some damage Two units, heroes and whatnot to try and slow the down of the pushes of the siege towers as always only the artillery that's on the walls can be used and the ones on the floor along with the trebs that the attacking side have. 15 attacking trebs, one per person and obviously there's a cooldown between each time. Is there a CB Rivals Discord? Yes, there is a CB Rivals Discord. I can give you the link. It's somewhere in chat. Hold on. Mark. Let's go, Hedy boys. <laughs> oh, hi, I read, I proud blue. How are you doing? There we go. A is getting a taken for free. B is getting taken for free. Kicker Amia is going away to sneak her on the back here. Ah, as is dual blue. Just checking the water. He's putting in a tit. Look at that. Putting in a tread because he's invisible. That is clever. This is clever strategies from play, uh, Amia. Somebody didn't spot it. No, Maximus maybe was the one to spot him, but he's noticed and he's in the back there. But. Good effort, good try. Kicker Flynn trying to have a look as well. All the guys just paying attention to where the NA boys are. AU boys have got plenty of very, very, very good strategies. Know their way around the maps. Know their different strategies for pushing. And uh, way on down units on the attack and defence. So they're going to be interested to see where they put in their opportunities and where they start getting their attacks from. And if you, if you are involved in these kind of battles, guys, and you have got a team in here, this is the kind of battle you want to learn from. You want to watch these guys, see how they get on, and uh, try and get involved that way. For some reason, I can't find... The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the finest people. Yo, Tomato, thank you for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the clan. I'm here trying to get involved here again. Once again, having a nosy around the back here. Just trying to scan out what's going on here. Slide Cootie also having a look. Go pleb. Yo, Queen Angulus, how are you doing? That's the Discord link in chat there as well for the CB Rivals.
Sledge main, just having a nosy. Let's have a nosy, see where we're at. Slow it down a little bit. Starting to push here. There we go, the full on push coming from the back entrance here. They're trying to make their way round as a full on stack. The whole EU group is going towards the supply point, trying to hold off the supply point of the NA boys. They're all jumping away out. Vanguard are paying attention. Uh, they're going to have to pay attention here. They've got Senjis in the back here. Dealing some damage to the units, but a unit of ISGs is stopping the units being hit in the back here. As Trebs coming to the home point here. They've got Flamers trying to deal some work. The guys from EU1 forcing their way into the very back supply point area. Ticker Temple Shot is on fire at the moment. He's trying to move towards it. Heroes are winning in favour. Of plebs just now, just just slightly, it's 12 versus 9, they're starting to make their way forward, if the heroes can keep picking off these heroes as it goes, big black chicken with the big brittle and broken here, EU boys making a way forward, plenty of heroes dying on the side of Pongard, and the cap point of home point is already getting capped, only a couple of heroes on the point fighting there, they're bringing in calf from the back here, this is going to be a very quick match, oh my god. What is going on? Step row surviving on the point here against two heroes to hold off that point. Gilch is going to have to come in. Sledgeman's coming in as well. A lot of the boys are coming back in. The heroes are coming back in. There is eight heroes on the defense coming back in, but they're spawning in a lot quicker in than the guys from Plebs here. But what a, what an effort. Like that's that's literally start cap and home point within a matter of seconds here. We've got a total of 14 minutes left to go ahead for this. But such a quick start. For the boys of EU1. Kikaramia just rotating on the back as he does as a dual blade. Just trying to distract as many heroes as possible. Keeping them occupied. He's such a great player at doing that. Such a great sneaker on the back. Kicker SX does the exact same thing. Little distraction. We're back to 13 heroes left. And Temple Shot's going to get his boys already prepped and ready to go for the next push. As you can see, the Eddie boys defending that supply point now. Lots of units on the supply point. Amya still up on the wall as... K Temple takes all his heroes up onto this right hand side wall now trying to force her way up on and grabbing wall superiority up top as Modal's coming from the NA side they charge forward picking up Mr. Dilly B Mr. Billy D is being killed by Kicker Silver Treb comes in just to use it as a wee dis deterrent here so nobody comes on to the point Units are starting to make their way in as the EU boys start making their way onto the home point here as well. They've got two pushes coming in. Now the any boys are going to have to side to side where they want to be. Guys, thank you for the follows. Appreciate it. IPG March is going in here from the pawn guard, guys, as a calf charge comes in. But the calf charge has stopped fairly quickly here. Gilcho with the brittle and broken here. The push is coming in from both sides here. They're winning the wall superiority here. If they could kill Maximus off here, they will gain the advantage here. They're 13, 15 versus 14 here. Unit wise, it's pretty damn even though the NAW, NA boys are defending like troopers here. And the boys from EU1 trying their hardest to stay alive and keep their units fighting and alive as they come down the stairwell on the right hand side and will pinch the boys from NA. There are now 10 defenders left available. Nine trebs still available. The heroes are still winning on the fight here. And it looks like plebs are going to start capping. They can start capping that point very quickly though. No heroes are going to stop it here. A couple of units are managing to stop it. But Gilch has been stopped here. No units in the back here. They can get flanked in the back here. And there is one hero surviving on the point. But the boys from plebs are starting to push their way through. They're such a quick team. They move so quickly. Their manoeuvres are back and forward so quickly. But they've got three heroes alive on any side. EU1 will win this battle on the attack. That is a quick GG for the boys of plebs. Kicker makes you if it two kills, 96 hero kills, three heroes kills, four Winkrow. Look at that. Amya hero kills again. Six hero kills, 42 unit kills. That was quick. Gilcho is the man of MVP, the man of the match here for the boys of NA on the defense. Gilcho, the four hero kills, 70 unit kills. What a quick matchup, though. That was the quickest match probably watched tonight. We waited this time for it. It went, and within 10 minutes, the game is wrapped up on the attack. The boys of Plebs know what they're doing. They are very skilled, very quick movement, very quick on rotating, and very, very well organized as a team. They pick off heroes so quickly. They doubled up the hero kills here. Similar on unit kills, but that was so quick. Unlucky to the Pong Guards defense there. They are missing a few extra members here, Pion and stuff like that as well, but it was a